Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. In this video, we're gonna talk about new proposed gun control legislation. Let's go ahead and get started. This week, the House of Representatives passed a bunch of gun control bills. I hate using that word, gun control. Like, why not uh, free speech control or legal search and seizure control? Bill of Rights is what it is. Democrats don't understand that. A lot of Republicans don't understand that either. Uh, I think most rank and file Americans that live responsible lives that provide for themselves rather than have others provide for them without working, uh, I think we understand what freedom is. We and most of you watching this video probably understand what freedom is. That means that you have a responsibility to your family. You have a responsibility to others around you to be an asset rather than a taker, uh, a liability in other words. Uh, I thought that this was going to be an interesting topic uh, to talk about. Uh, if you watched the Democrat presidential debate last night, uh, how far left can they go? Well, all the way. I mean, there's really no retreating back from their positions at this point. Um, probably the least American set of presidential candidates in American history, I would dare to say. Um, one of the most interesting people is a guy that masquerades as a Hispanic uh, who is absolutely Irish, whose name is Robert Francis O'Rourke. Uh, when asked about uh, gun control and rifles and that, he says, hell yeah, I'm coming for your AR-15. Shut up, dude. Just shut up. Like, you're, you're a little pissant nothing. And quite honestly, um, congressman or a former congressman or presidential candidate or work, whatever you want to call yourself, uh, I thought that Texas, a Texas state representative who responded to you, it was very appropriate where he says, my AR-15 is ready for you. At which point uh, O'Rourke accused him of inciting violence. Now, I want you to consider the absurdity of that statement that he claims that this Texas state representative was inciting violence against him. Whereas O'Rourke said that it will be mandatory gun buyback. Now it's not a buyback. They never had the guns to begin with. So it would be a mandatory confiscation of firearms. Well, how is that confiscation going to happen? That confiscation is going to happen if, uh, God forbid, that O'Rourke gets elected president of the United States, which I see a snowball's chance in hell of happening. Uh, but nonetheless, there are others just like him with similar positions. So what's that look like? Gun confiscation, making all semi-automatic firearms illegal in this country, or ARs or AK uh, variant rifles that millions and millions, if not tens of millions of Americans currently own. Well, what that looks like is they pass a law, they make these firearms illegal, and then give you a certain number of days to turn your rifle in or else you face consequences. And by consequences, I mean armed government thugs wearing the veneer legitimate badge of authority come to your house and forcibly disarm you with the very guns that they don't want you to have. So if anyone's inciting violence, it's O'Rourke and his little uh, minions very similar to him and their government. So I think they're the ones inciting violence. I think they're the ones that are inciting uh, straight up terrorism. And by that, I mean they are using, aid. They would, they would use agents of the state to forcibly disarm you at gunpoint. Now these people have no problem. They have no problem whatsoever being surrounded by semi-automatic firearms, whether it be rifles or pistols or anything else like that. They have no problem being surrounded uh, by people that have these guns, provided that those people are protecting them. But when normal Americans, like me and you watching this video, when normal Americans want that same level of protection that we take upon ourselves, and not at taxpayer expense, by the way, they have a major problem with that. So no, I don't think that the Texas state congressman who said that his AR-15 is ready for a work, I don't think that's inciting violence. I think that's him taking a responsible position that is protecting his rights, guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. And Thomas Jefferson said that a Bill of Rights is what every American should be entitled to against their government. So take it for what it's worth. I think we're at a weird time. I'm not gonna do a long video. I just spent the last three days mowing my fields over 50 acres of pasture, so I'm a little bit worn out. I'm out here in the sun. But uh, nonetheless, wanted to get a video for this weekend and give you guys and gals some thoughts uh, as to they don't have a claim to morality. These people seeking gun control, they don't have a claim on morality. If anything, they're hypocrites, they're anti-American, they have no place in this country. And quite honestly, if anybody is advocating positions like forced gun confiscation, uh, don't be surprised when it doesn't go the way that you want it to go. Uh, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I think most people watching this video understand that here in the United States of America, we have a right to protect our property, our family, our rights. We have a right to protect against that uh, of these modern day tyrants. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, Y'all understand what's going on out there. You know it's only going to get crazier in the next year. Uh, but we don't proceed with a spirit of fear. I think we need to pr proceed forward from this point on 
we have to proceed with a position of resolve. We have to proceed with a position of non-compromise because a compromise means that one party gets something, the other party gets something. We have gotten nothing. We've gotten nothing since 1934, but more of our Second Amendment eroded. And the Second Amendment has been treated very poorly by agents of government and by our fellow citizens, quite honestly. So if anybody's watching this and you want further gun control, understand this. Uh, you can want all you want to, but that doesn't mean you're going to get it. And even if you do get it, uh, expect some serious repercussions from that, from uh, millions and millions, if not tens of millions of Americans that are going to be determined to keep their Second Amendment intact. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn how to get some training on those firearms, those evil semi-automatic firearms, come on out to Valor Ridge. We can spool you up in quick order. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.